this time around uh, I have my rectangle class here that extends a shape shape is defined over here it's a very basic class that has a method get area that just returns the area and prints area of a shape and I have a re uh, string to string that returns just some shape that's my, that's my class now I have a rectangle class that inherits from that inherits from shape so it has a get area method and a to string method for free the get area method will say area of a shape and the to string method will say wait I am overriding the two string method in here. So now the two string method is going to say rect side A by side B. However, the get area will, will still say get area of a shape and then return the area variable. I can modify that variable from here, and you saw all that in the in the previous videos. Now, the thing that I want to bring you into attention, this is a modified version of the last uh, rectangle class that you saw. This time let's focus on set sides. I don't want anyone to set a side that can be for example uh, that can have for example two negative values or one negative value right because there are no there are no sides that are negative in value so what I'm doing here is I'm saying if the side one is greater than zero and the side two is greater than zero basically if both sides are valid integers for the side then do the assignment and do the area equal side by side otherwise just set the area to zero okay now the square method the square classes we had it before had a set side method without any validation that just would say this that just would set the set side a to s and the side b to s and then just the area would be that okay would be the multiplication of these two things now the problem with this now is that somebody can use my square class and pass it a negative value here right and I can do the the validation for negative values occur repeat repeat um, repeat that validation here okay but I'll show you a better way to do this to deal with this what I have done also one of the modifications here is I modified set sides the other thing that I've modified is this side a and side b variables I have set them to be private private means that even though square inherits from rectangle okay even though square inherits from rectangle um, square cannot see these two variables again because square inherits from rectangle square should get everything that a rectangle has but here's a caveat everything but the private variables okay and this starts to uh, to get tricky so what I'm going to do here in square if I try to compile this it's not going to compile Right, is saying that side A and side B have private access, therefore you can't compile them. Okay, so what I will do here is I will call the um, set sides method with S and S. Right, so I'm going to call the rectangle set side method with S and S. Now the set sides method in the rectangle will do the validation, will assign the values, and will compute the area. So going back to my square, I don't need to compute the area anymore. Just by calling set sides is enough. Now, I would I can say super dot set sides. So I'm calling the set sides uh, method from the uh, rectangle. I can compile this class. I can go to my test shapes and um, just for simplicity I'm going to create a rectangle which is a 10 comma 2.5 so those are the two sides I'll do the rectangle to string and I will print the rectangle dot get area and then I'm going to create a square that is 10 supposedly 10 by 10 right I will print the string for the square and I will print the squares area okay so I'll compile this and run it now everything compiles and the output that I get is rectangle 10 by 10 by 2.5 this is the two string part now the get area says area of a shape 25 basically the get area went to the shapes get area okay and return area of a shape 25 
then I created a new square and then I printed the square to string which says rect 10 by 10 square right if we go back to square to string it prints the rectangles to string method and then square the word square in the next line so it printed rectangle 10 by 10 square and then area of a shape 100 here to get area method okay so just to just to uh, get this get this traced just uh, just summing up when you want to have full control of a variable make it private and the way that other classes will access this variable is by um, is by calling methods that set those variables usually called setters and getters okay or uh, accessors if you want to get a variable and mutators if you want to set a variable but usually getters and setters is the is the name that um, that works in this case I had a rectangle class and I had a method set sides which is the only way an external class can modify the values of the sides and then I have full control over its validation so you can imagine a class where you have a very complex validation and then a subclass of it that will call that method okay the um, one last thing and it gets into what what's coming up is that I don't need super here okay I can just say set sides although the variables side A and side B are private the set sides method is not private in the rectangle class look look at it it's public so I do inherit the set sides method now because I have not overwritten it here because I have not coded my own set side method what will happen is Java will automatically call the super classes method set side if it doesn't find it here so we can compile this and run it whoops sorry and run the tests and run my tests and you will see that it actually did the same thing the last the last piece of it has the rectangle square and the area of a shape it all worked so again if only the rectangle classes to modify these variables declare them private otherwise declare them public if a square class or a subclass wants to modify those variables we'll have to use the accessor okay if this class has not implemented this accessor on its own then it can call the accessor just like this and it will call the super class accessor otherwise it'll have to say super dot set sides if if it were overridden here